Lemmy's World of Glasgow. Phil. I bumped into my friend, Graham, when I was back home in Blackpool. He told me his son, Will, was going to be getting married. And did I know a good place for his son to go have a stag do? Because we're having a bit of a problem coming up with ideas of where to go. I said, do I really have to answer that question, Graham? Surely you know me by now. He said, what, send him up to Glasgow? I said, yeah, tell him to go up to Glasgow. He said, what, my son, surrounded by jocks, he'd get his head kicked in. I said, maybe somewhere else in Scotland, but not Glasgow. The Glaswegians are the warmest people in the whole wide world. Send Will and his friends up to Glasgow. They'll have an unforgettable stag do. He said, okay, I'll have a bit of a think about it. I'll tell Will, but if he goes up there and gets his head kicked in, it's your fault, Phil. <laughs> I said, don't be silly, he'll be fine. So a few days later, I bump into Graham again. I said, Graham, how did this stag do go? He said, Phil, I want a word with you. I said, what is it? D- didn't they have a good time? He said, oh, they had a good time, Phil. They had far too good a time. I said, don't tell me. Will went up there for a stag do with his friends, met up with a bunch of friendly, lovely Glaswegian girls. He's called off the wedding and all his friends have broken up with their birds and they're running off with this bunch of Glaswegian girls. He said, who told you? I said, who told me? It was bound to happen, Graham. Those lovely Glaswegian girls. They capture your heart and they just don't stop giving. He said, well, they've broken the hearts of Will's fiance, and they've broken the hearts of the birds of the rest of the guys. And now, he said, we're having to go up there. Me, Will's fiance, and all the girlfriends. We're going to have to go up to Glasgow and make these boys see sense. <laughs> I said, good luck, Graham. You're going to need it. A few days after that, I bumped into Graham again. I said, Graham, how did it go? He said, Phil, those girls, those Glaswegian girls, what lovely, lovely girls they are. I said, I told you so. He said, we went up to Glasgow to tear these girls limb from limb for what they done. But after five minutes of us all chatting to them, (laughs) we really can't blame the boys. They're just beautiful girls. Will's fiancé, ex-fiancé, thinks a girl Graham's met is perfect for him. And the rest of the girls are just so happy to see the ex-boyfriends now with girls that are just so loving, so caring, beautiful. He said, but you know what, Phil? I said, what? He said, the marriage is still going ahead. I said, he's still getting married to his ex-fiancé. He said, no, he's getting married to the Glaswegian girl. Same church, same date. They want the rest of the girls, the Blackpool girls and the Glaswegian girls to be the bridesmaids. And they want you, Phil, you, to be the best man. I want you to be the best man. Will wants you to be the best man. (laughs) I said, you're joking, mate. This is great news. He said, Phil, you deserve it. Glasgow is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic.